Well, I'm awfully, uh, awfully proud of our kids tonight. I don't think there's anybody in the building that couldn't see uh, a team that's really uh, playing, starting to kind of play well. Obviously, that second half was awfully good offensively. I thought defensively we were locked in from the get-go. Um, I thought all night we were really good defensively. And just playing with a, a, a lot of uh, purpose, uh, knowing where we're supposed to be, uh, knowing a scouting report. Um, I'm going to brag on Tori a little bit. I've noticed her in practice, shoot-arounds, day before. She's really paying attention when she's out there and we're going through somebody else's sets. And, and, and that's something that maybe three weeks ago wasn't the case, but she's maturing. She's still obviously a freshman. These two seniors understand the importance of that. They've been with me now three years. They know that we spend endless hours developing those scouting reports, and they know how important they are. But uh, just really our entire team, I thought, was dialed in on that end. And, um, again, it, it, it just makes all the difference in the world um, having uh, uh, kids make shots. And I thought we had kids step up and make shots tonight. First half, you know, we're up 11. If we don't have Kendra Grant, you know, it's it's an ugly tie ball game probably at half. Victoria gets two fouls. i got to bring her out. And you've got a senior, a veteran like her, that comes off the bench. First two, bang, bang. She knocks them down, doesn't even think twice about it. Runs a great set. Uh, our, yeah, Martha sets a great screen for to end the half, but she knocks down the shot. I mean, you, you, you just – you, I can see us getting better, and I think that's really encouraging right now. It's a good time to get better uh, because the buzz saw is in front of us. But uh, just, you know, we talk about playing with passion, playing with a purpose, entertaining people. I don't think any of those 5,000-plus in there were not entertained tonight. That place was loud. It was electric. Um, you know, the good Lord just has really blessed these young ladies. He's blessed me with a tremendous uh, team this year and uh, tremendous staff, and, and it's all, you know, there tonight was just one of those nights where it kind of all came together. And that first game against Vanderbilt, they had a lot of high percentage shots, so they shot a high percentage. Is that, was that really a point of emphasis in this game because you really cut down on those? Well, yeah, I mean, they had seven layups after makes and misses for 14 points. They went to the line 42 times, so, you know, we knew we had to defend better. And so those were two things just right there off the top that we really wanted to focus on was make them score over you, not by you. And then, uh, again, Martha was still kind of in her trying to find her way. And, uh, and again, we, you know, they played really well that day. We'll give them credit. But, uh, boy, tonight our kids really flipped the switch and uh, flipped the page on them. And I thought we were the aggressor. I thought we out-executed them. And I'm uh, just really, really pleased with our performance tonight. Well, I'd, I'd have to say so, especially second half, offensively and defensively. But, you know, again, you hold somebody to 44 points. Uh, I mean, Coach Balkan was a heck of a coach. Um, they always run great offensive sets. They run a bunch of them. Um, these kids have been through all of them for two straight days in a shoot-around. And uh, so, you know, we had our hands full defending them. They're physical. That team's as physical as anybody in the league. Inside, when they post up now, They'll post up. And uh, so uh, we just, uh, again, I, I, I'm proud of our kids for meeting and exceeding their intensity, their physicalness, um, all those things, because I thought we really took the fight to them tonight. Kendra, what was the difference for you tonight? You only had one field go up there, three. But here, <coughs> two threes in the first half. So just talk about um, that. Well, like I always say, when, coach, uh, when you're coming off the bench, uh, you want to fix what's broken. And if nothing's broken, just keep it going. So, uh, I mean, you know, Tori, you know, got her two fouls, and so I just wanted to keep the energy up. And if it wasn't enough energy, just, you know, bring it. And uh, the first shot, it felt good. And the next one, I just didn't even think about it, so I just pulled it. So I just really just let the game come to me. How big was that um, That sequence when you hit back-to-back -back threes and kind of got the offense going, hit the big shot right before halftime? Uh, I think it gave us a lot of momentum. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to bring energy and just keep it going. And uh, we had cut the lead. Well, they had cut the lead a little bit, but I just, you know, wanted to just keep it going. Right. Victoria, uh, Coach Falcon said that uh, she could sense that you got hot there in the second half. Um, can you talk a little bit about maybe being with it a little bit and, and getting the team a spark? 
Um, <clears throat> I really didn't. Yeah, I don't feel one of my I'll just shoot it. Like, if you go in, it go in. If you don't, it don't. So, I just kept playing and keep that kept shooting the ball. Because Coach Green plays me to shoot the ball. So, I mean, if they going in, it don't. <laughs> I don't know where the shot kids come from. Right. <laughs> you know, play it how you like. Mm -hmm. Coach, could you sense that that she was in the zone, so to speak? Both of them. You know, when she started hitting, we tried to run plays for her. Once she got hot, we want to try to go back to her. And and uh, and, and the the thing is, both of them play so hard on defense that. I got to know when, hey, they're tired, they might not have their legs for the next shot. But, you know, they hit one, you want to find them again. You know, you want to go back to them again and, and give them another look. And uh, I'm just telling you, Kendra Grant can play a long time. She's got a big time jump shot. Um, and when it's going in, it, it's, there's nothing prettier. And Victoria, big guard, hard to get to. Um, she's now. She was 8 for 22 the other night. Tonight she's 7 for 15, 5 out of 8 from 3, 20 points, um, no turnovers, and played good defense. And so, you know, you, you got to be excited about a couple of wing players that can really do what they did. This is 32 points from the same position. It's like having a two-guard that went for 32 tonight. And so that's, that's, that's big for us. And then, you know, Martha just provided an inside presence. It just eases, it just makes everything easier. And so uh, I was proud of our guards uh, for feeding her and giving her some really good looks. Katera came in the second half and played well when Bree was struggling tonight. And uh, I was proud for her. She's two for two. And, uh, you know, she's not been playing well, but got a big offensive rebound and a stick back and uh, played 18 minutes. And, you know, I need Katera Chapel. Our team needs Katera Chapel to play better. And I'm really uh, excited for her tonight because I thought she played better. Martha, uh, Coach said he sees the team improving and getting better. Um, it looked like uh, at times the, the guards and your teammates were really making an effort to get you to basketball. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you see that as an aspect of the team that's improving and, and keeping you involved in the offense? I think for one, we gel really well together. We all play really, really well and like we know what each other can do and coach makes a big emphasis on getting the ball inside and they do a good job of getting inside. So it goes back to the coaches and then the guards, of course. Great job. <laughs> Martha, you've set a lot of records here and, and hit a lot of milestones, but what does it mean to you when Brock reads off those stats and all the things that you've achieved? It's kind of cool. Um, like the blocking shots thing, I've been doing it since middle school, like middle school, so it's not like that big of a deal for me, but it's kind of cool being in the record books. To, to Coach's point earlier about seeing the team improving, um, how, how do you see the, the team uh, learning how to handle the zone better, you know, getting into the gaps and, and feeding the post, or just running your man offense and, and playing better defense? Um, I think something that we've uh, really tried to harp on is not settling. And I think, you know, the more we drive, the more fouls we'll get. The more, you know, points we'll get at the line, those are free. So, I mean, I, I think that you know, driving more and not sailing. But if you have an open shot, shoot it. You know, that's that's your shot. But um, just really driving and looking for the big down low, and I think that with, you know, a combination of all that will we'll be good. Victoria, with the size Vanderbilt had, just, not just in the front court, but perimeter as well, I mean, how critical was it for you to make those jump shots, especially stepping out a little bit in the range just to, to shoot over that defense? Um, it's very critical because we have to score to win and we have to play defense to win. So if you don't have – Offense, I mean, you can't win the game because you can't keep somebody zero the whole time. So making those big shots, you really have to team. Vic, what do you think you can learn from this team in the next month? I know you just called it a buzzsaw. What, what is this team going to learn the next month about itself, I guess? Well, I, again, I, uh, number one, I, we, we know what's in front of us, but I don't think anybody in that locker room, anybody in my coaching staff is going to be scared. We, we know what we're dealing with. We've been there. Um, uh, so I, I think the, the one thing I want my team to do is, number one, understand what's in front of you. Understand, hey, we're the hunted now. You know, a lot of nights, I mean, people are, you know, obviously we're going to Tennessee, they're undefeated in the league. Uh, they're playing awfully well. But I, we're playing well too. You know, I want to want my kids to understand we're playing well. We, as I've told them, we're big. 
We're physical. Uh, we play hard. I got a senior point guard. Uh, we're fun to watch. Uh, we guard you. All those things, when I'm trying to impart on my team, you know, we're, we're pretty good. So we got to go live that. Now, you got to live it every day. You got to live it how you eat, how you sleep. You got to live it in practice when you prepare. And, and then when you step into Thompson Bowling Arena on Sunday night, hey, they're out to get you. They're out to, as the girls say, take your cookies. And so you got to be prepared for that. But you know what? I got a whole locker room full of kids that have been in that environment before. Um, you know, they've been in big games. And so, um, you know, we're going to go in there. It's their home game. So the pressure's on them to defend their home court. Um, we know we got to go. We got to come home. We'll have a week off. We got A and M here. Then I think we got Kentucky on the road. So, you know, four, the top four teams are in front of us. But hey, embrace that. Live it. Uh, and that's what I've been trying to tell these kids. Live where we are. We are 22 and two now. We're 18th in the nation. Keep one game at a time. Don't worry about the one after that. Just one, what's who's the next one up? But let's go get ready for Tennessee. Let's go get ready. Let's prepare like we've been preparing all year long. And then let's go roll the dice and see what happens. But embrace the opportunity. It's a game. It ain't life and death. It's a basketball game. Let's go play. Dominique had zero points in 35 minutes with us. I mean, you look at her stat line, not that impressive. But do you think she's one of the most important players on the floor on each side of the ball, not just defensively, but all <laughs> I, mean, I guess I guess that's a yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, you know, you, you, you can't get tied up in the first stat line with her. Um, you know, she's, she's just a tough, hard-nosed cookie, you know. She defends. She always gets everybody's best player. Um, she's physical. She's aggressive. She's just a hard-nosed, tough basketball player, and she's a winner. And, uh, you know, her teammates love her. They appreciate what she brings to the table. And, uh, you know, some nights it's offense. Most nights it's not. It's the intangibles. It's the, the hustle plays. It's the things that get your crowd going. It's, it's all those things. It's blocking out and getting a critical rebound when you need it. So, um, yeah, I mean, she's either real important or I'm an idiot for playing her 35 minutes. So, I'm good. Let's say that I'm not an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Coach Faulkner said that she's been coming here 13 years and she thought tonight was the first time she's ever seen that building loud and intimidating. And she said a lot of credit goes to you and to your players. I mean, I thought that was high praise coming from an opposing team to come in and say, hey, that place was intimidating. Well, it is. I mean, I, I've said that now. We've, we've developed a home court advantage. Uh, we've developed a crowd. We've developed a fan base. I don't think there's any free tickets out there. You know, people are paying to come in. We only sold 2,000, a little over 2,000 season tickets, so people are paying to come see a great product. And I'm, I'm just, you know, I said it three years ago when we took this job that we would do it. And, and part of the program is not just players and staff, but it's this. It's the atmosphere. It's the fan base. It's people tuning in and watching on ESPN3 and watching on ESPN Plus and watching the, the network games and, and texting afterwards. And it's all that. That's, that's part of the program. And, and it's just a credit to our kids. It's a credit to our staff. Uh, it's a credit to our administration for believing that we can do it. And, again, I don't think there's anybody that's been at these games that doesn't believe it's happening. It's not happening. Because it is. It's happening. And, uh, I appreciate those comments from Coach Bauckham. means a lot. Again, that's a great coach, um, veteran, been around a long time, had a lot of great teams, and uh, that team will bounce back. So I appreciate that. And, again, it's happening, y'all. It's, and it's a great environment. It got loud in there tonight. And what was really fun was when we, when we, when we made some substitutions, it seemed to get louder. You know? And, and that, that was neat. That's neat for those kids. You know, it's neat for them to experience that and feel that. And, the emotion that's in that building. I mean, it's just electric, y'all. So uh, it's an exciting time right now, and uh, we're, we're just glad that we're able to play a part of it and appreciate the media and everybody, and uh, we'll, we'll go on to the next one. All right, All right praise the Lord and go dogs. <laughs>